Well, hey, today we are going to be learning how to use both slow motion and stabilizer at the same time. So we're gonna be using Premiere Pro, and this is CS6. So you've got your clip, and it's a great clip. It's these guys all having a ginormous Roman Candle War. So you take that clip, put it onto your timeline, make sure the sequence settings are right. And as you're looking at it, you realize it's a bit shaky, so you wanna stabilize it. So, like we learned in the last video, you just search Warp Stabilizer, and drag that onto your clip. You wait for a little while, you can check it in the effect controls. So the stabilization finishes, and as you're looking at it, you realize, ooh, this is a really great clip. I'm sure it would look 10 million times better in slow motion. And so, you click on your clip, you hit Command R, and you wanna hit 50 and slow it halfway down. But you realize warp stabilizer and speed can't be used on the same clip. Da da da! Or can they? There is, in fact, a cheat that allows you to use both warp stabilizer and speed on the same clip. So, just undo that, and what you want to do is, you want to hit File, New, Sequence, or just Command N. And then you want to grab the sequence where your clip is. So you can see slow-mo plus stab for stabilizer, that's where my clip is. And you want to go to your blank sequence, and then drag that slow-mo plus stab where your clip is sequence to your new sequence. And now, what this is, is it's not just your clip, it is in fact the sequence somewhat rendered as a whole. So what you can do now is you can click on this new clip slash sequence, hit Command R, and then put your speed in, push OK, and look, no problems. Oh my gosh, isn't that incredible? So go ahead and render it by just pressing Enter and then both slow motion and stabilization will be on the same clip. 